Hello and welcome gorgeous Leo to your monthly reading. I hope everyone is doing really well. Let's take a look at your cards and the messages that spirit would like to bring through for you. Be sure to connect in with your own intuition throughout the reading. This is how spirit speaks directly to you. You might see a sign, a symbol, a message on one or several of the cards. This is a direct message from spirit to you and your situation. So your first card is Ascension Flames. Merge with light, ignite keys and codes. So I'm seeing this Leo as spirit bringing through messages for you or a specific message over the next few weeks. And you're going to understand what this is. It's not going to pass you by. And because you understand what the message is, you follow that advice or do that thing or or receive that inspiration and take some kind of action by the looks of it. And it's going to uplift your life in a powerful way. The merging energy here is interesting. You might be merging uh, yourself with another. So it could mean for you that there is a relationship of importance or on the horizon. It doesn't have to be romantic, but it could be maybe friends or a new group but you're merging in um, or something is merging with you coming together connection um, there's also a key here so a key means symbolically it's unlocking a door so this means opportunities will open for you doors will open for you um, so this month looks to be a very interesting month for you spiritual warrior Show you are a wise leader, command the universe. So this is really about taking charge of your life and your circumstances with what you can. Okay, so this isn't speaking of over controlling or domineering behavior or attitudes, although you may be dealing with someone that has a domineering attitude. I see that for someone. But this is about taking control of what you can in your life and not being... Uh, and not being held back by your own limitations or how you see yourself. Um, and, you know, there might be a situation you're feeling or you know that you can't kind of move anywhere. Um, you can't say anything. You can't do anything to change that particular circumstance. Well, Spirit's coming through with this card to remind you that actually there is a choice here. You might just not be seeing it at the moment you know, connected to this card here. It's very much about, you know, um, finding a different way. You hold the key to change if you want to change a situation. So the line energy, I love it. Um, it's your energy, Leo. So yeah, you can, you can kind of break free of the shackles in a situation this a month if you want to. Um, you do hold the key, it seems. This is a deck um, that is directly for past over loved ones to bring through a message. So if you'd like to think about a past over loved one and see what messages they'll bring through with this deck, you can do that now. There is no time where I am. Time is only on the earth. So, yeah, the, they're pointing out to you that, in fact, they're in a timeless place, which may be important or significant to you or for you to know. There's no time. I watch over you every day. If you've been wondering about this, maybe you know this already in your heart and you receive messages from your past over loved one. They watch over you every day. It's confirming that with this card. Guidance for Leo, please, spirit, angels and guides. Ring through a message for Leo, please. Okay. The kangaroo. Be a force for good. Be a force for good. Hmm. You might see some injustice in the week ahead. You might see some injustice over the next few weeks. You can choose to be a force for good. 
You can merge with the light and be a force for good. Maybe it's maybe it's up to you to stand up for someone or maybe animals. Okay, I do see that with this card. Wildlife, maybe you're the spokesperson for a cause. It's like you're speaking up or you're doing something um, and you are the force for good. The Lama. Set clear boundaries and enforce them. Yes, so there may be a need to put up some boundaries, some clear boundaries with someone. And this would be wise to put up some various boundaries and protections so you're not picking up on their energy or you're not being affected by their toxicity, negativity or however they are affecting you. You must enforce them as well. That's the key here. You must enforce them. A seraphim card. Relax and open up to source and keep your heart open. Keep your heart open mm -hmm. because you will receive blessings of joy to your heart. So joy is a divine energy. And if you open up your heart to source, so you can do this through prayer or meditation. It's a conscious awareness of this. And joy will flow down into your heart and you'll really feel it. You will really feel it. Another seraphim energy. Be an ambassador for Earth. So we have another message here, Leo, of you standing up for yourself or standing up for others or a cause. Be a force for good. You're an ambassador for Earth. And build your bridge to source. I feel that's going back to this energy. Relax, open up, prayer, meditation, spiritual practice. That is regular and build your connection to source. Guidance for Leo, please, spirit, angels, and guides, bring through a message for Leo. The princess of spring, it's time to go after your dreams, do something that expands your horizons, and let your creativity take flight. Let your creativity take flight. Princess, this energy is news or an announcement. I feel there's a joyous energy, an optimistic energy you feel with this information or news or message that you receive from someone over the next month. Very joyful energy here as well. It's time to go after your dreams. Taking some kind of um, positive action toward your dreams or your vision. And you'll see your horizons expand. The Queen of Autumn. Be practical with respect to how you proceed. The ability to make anything more beautiful. Meeting someone who can help your dreams come true. So in fact, we have a partnership here. It's time to go after your dreams. You're going to be meeting someone or have met someone who will help your dreams, your visions come into reality. Be very practical and pragmatic with your approach to things over the next few weeks. The three of summer. News worth celebrating. Exactly right. That's what I was feeling here with the princess of spring. It feels to me like you're going to be over the moon over the moon this is what it seems like here announcements such as weddings graduations or births and friends you cherish so yes this also means there may be a social invitation the king of spring is a masculine energy of course a financial windfall wow okay so you have abundance coming in materially uh, financially this month your leadership skills are needed now so you might be Moving into a leadership role in your professional or personal life. An unexpected supporter of your cause. Interesting. Hmm. And the Empress is the mother energy. Might be dealings with your mother. Maybe this person in spirit is a mother or grandmother type energy or person. Uh, time to take action. Yes, I do get that feeling. This month is about taking action. The power of creativity. You can and will receive creative bursts of energy. Success that allows for a life of luxury. So we have that financial windfall coming through again. 
some kind of um, abundance materially, which may mean financially, it might mean health wise, though, it might mean, you know, what is physical in your life, there's an increase there for you, this could be life changing, this miracle blessing from spirit might um, last for quite a long time and flow through different areas of your of your life. And the ego, the illusion of being trapped Placing too much importance on material items and getting caught up in fear and worry. Yes, yeah, Spirit does not want this for you at all. Do not get caught up in fear or worry, anxieties. This is keeping you trapped in a certain vibration that is not where Spirit wants you to be. Um, there may be a female energy here that is... Um, their ego may be imposing on you. So let's take a look at the pendulum. If you have a question you'd like to ask Spirit through the pendulum, you're quite welcome to think of that question now. And the answer is yes. So check in with your intuition. See how this resonates for you. It's been wonderful to read for you. Have a fantastic month. Take care, stay blessed, and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye for now.